and welcome back to episode 5 of our Exploring Arkansas series. It's lovely to be back once again. I know it's been a little while since our last one. I've been caught up with a few things but now we are back with episode 5. We're getting closer and closer to the end especially, spoiler alert, as we're doing two different hauls today. First and foremost we'll be going from El Dorado where we ended last time all the way up to Harrison and then from Harrison to Fayetteville so make yourself comfortable I think this is going to be a little longer than the last ones of course though not as long as the uh, the first one which was <laughs> incredibly long compared to the uh, what's become sort of the standard now for this series but uh, yeah it's all good regardless obviously we've got the will cam the will cam saga continues i've tried to get like a better angle ultimately my sort of i don't want to say dream because it's a little bit overkill but realistically i did i would have wanted a like a, like a front facing camera right so rather than have the steering wheel from the side have it done from the front but i'm not really sure how to do that i've actually considered doing it with like my phone but actually, fun fact, I actually used to record uh, all my steering wheel cams. There's a little trailer, nice and short and style. I actually don't really mind these short trailers. Um, I obviously, if you know, if, well, if you're a regular on my stream, you'll know that I constantly bang on about how I like a challenge. So naturally, I do prefer longer trailers, but I, I, I do like, like a change so every now and again variety is a good thing variety is healthy but yeah back on the topic of my little steering wheel uh, action in the top right there i did used to use my phone because uh, i could record in 4k whereas my webcam is only uh, 1080p which is what i'm currently using right now which is kind of partly the reason why the video is in 1080p and obviously i did the whole 4k thing and that was my intention at the time but because I use Streamlabs OBS to stream in 1080p, I've sort of got the whole shebang set up for 1080p recording. And if I was to go to 4K, I'd have to readjust everything and it would have just been a sort of headache. Um, I'll probably try and see if I can make it work before the next one. But generally speaking, 1080p remains the standard after all these years. I moved to a 4K monitor, I think back in like 2016 or 2015, around then. And for whatever reason, it doesn't really seem to have caught on. Like I know 1440p in terms of gamers, 1440p has become the standard. Well, arguably, maybe 144 hertz refresh rate for a 1440p monitor. I think that's, if I had to guess, that would be like the most popular setup. For, uh, for 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 anyone that's that's kind of has their, has gaming as their priority, right? But I don't know. With like the boom for of 4K, especially in TVs, like over 10 years ago now, I'd like to think. I don't really understand why it hasn't taken on, and it's to the point where I've actually considered getting a 1080p monitor. So the 4K is nice. But it's an LCD screen and it hasn't got G-Sync, no HDR and at the time that I bought my current monitor I thought to myself 4K, 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 that was all I had on my mind was 4K and since then we've grown a little bit, we've matured a little bit and I've kind of learned about the, the, the more in-depth things when it comes to a monitor and probably stuff that actually would make sense from some for someone like me who's really about the visual quality things like qd oled which is sort of now the uh, the shining star in uh, in monitors but then also things to consider like burning for example obviously i didn't really consider high refresh rate back in the day i also now want at least two monitors as well and i think running two 4k monitors especially on my 3080 ti which you know was once upon a time not too long ago at all a, uh, a very well sought after gpu and an incredibly powerful gpu and it still is an incredibly powerful gpu but yeah i think two game two 4k monitors 
would be asking a little too much of it especially if they were to be high refresh rate as well and whatever i go for whether i remain at 4k whether i go down to 1440p or even 1080p it's gonna be a high refresh rate thing so yeah gpus definitely gonna have to be upgraded i think regardless at some point um but enough deviating away from um the game itself we are back <laughs> in the beautiful land of arkansas i do i am currently streaming american truck sim around once a week i don't know if that's going to increase over time i don't know if that's going to decrease over time but hey if you're really into the american truck content it's worth following me on twitch or even subscribing to me on youtube but i have found like yesterday actually from the day that i'm recording this um i wanted to stream on both youtube and twitch because that's what i kind of normally do i try to reach out to you know you guys here on youtube but then also my people over there on twitch and for some reason um i use restream to stream to both platforms restream basically takes like one input and sends it out to at least two platforms you could send it out to more um and for some reason it didn't stream to youtube so it's only on twitch and i'm not sure if there's any particular reason behind it it is something that i've dealt with before but it just kind of fixed itself the next time i try to stream but yeah if you don't want to if you want to ensure let me say that you don't miss out on any american truck sims or even euro truck sims and hey if you're interested in some other stuff we do plenty of train content and soon to come sim racing content as well i'm just waiting on things to come together but i think we're gonna go heavy on the sim racing i'll be very honest if you've been around for a while you'd remember i think it was spring last year or on summertime last year there was a, uh, some decent sim racing content i think i made a video or two and also plenty of live streams and so honestly sim racing with without the right rig if, if i can call it a rig just won't doesn't really work especially because um well first and foremost my chair has wheels so that doesn't only affect sim racing but it also affects it's affected me literally here while, while, while driving a truck not necessarily in this video but just generally speaking with american truck sim or, or even euro truck sim or any sim that gets kind of slow paced so like the bus sims as well for example it i do feel it sometimes especially when i need to brake hard because my chair's got wheels i kind of just it's it's honestly like it looks like a skit it's like a meme i just wheel back away from the desk or i end up dragging my whole desk with me which takes me on to my second point <laughs> this is why i can't really have an incredible amount of force feedback because my and this this is honestly comical my my, my case doesn't fit my um the radiator for my cpu right? i got my, my cpu is liquid cooled and so the radiator it has a radiator obviously right so to kind of do the cooling and i've got that just standing on top of my case just outside of my case standing on top of it i don't have like a gl I, I don't have my, my glass cover on my case right so it's just the tubes are just sticking right out of the system organs all out and i've got the radiator sitting on the uh, on top on the case and so when the force feedback gets a lot or when i'm dragging my desk towards me because i'm breaking harshly this radiator as it is is barely holding on for day life it sort of just sometimes tips over and i'll be very honest i actually don't know how i've survived this long with all the fans working the radiator seemingly working fine doing its job is it's nothing short of a miracle it is nothing short of a miracle so yeah that was sort of the main reason if you ever wondered if if, if you were there from 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 the get-go and you you you've wondered where has the sim racing content gone that's basically it i i just can't do it right now so i'm waiting to get myself a proper little rig where i can you know mount it will have a seat mounted to it i can mount the wheel to it as well obviously the pedals and probably its own monitor as well that would be kind of cool and then i'll be unstoppable <laughs> hopefully get my hands on some moza gear which obviously i've touched on before i really do want to get especially for the truck steering wheel that thing is incredible and so yeah just waiting for everything to to come together like i said and listen when i get that wheel that the truck wheel 
I honestly think it's gonna amplify these these, these trucking these trucking videos because it's one thing to just have like a regular wheel like what I've got right now in the top right and just have that sitting there and it's still cool because you still kind of get to see my real world inputs how I'm doing everything and how it's transitioning into the game but when I've now got a truck wheel you know and, and I've hopefully sorted out sort of the, the this top-down view that I really want to get which even as I'm talking I've actually got an idea of how to do it I just need a really really long arm for the camera but um regardless uh here's the truck itself that contains a real truck steering wheel and that chrome bumper so i haven't really had any qualms with it obviously when i first got it i was selling you guys i think it was episode three or episode two episode three i think i was telling you guys how i feel like it's a truck that i can just rag about right i can take it off road not really worry about dents or scratches and yes i know that's not a thing in the american truck sim but we, we're trying to be immersed right we're trying to do this properly all right so so let me let me breathe so obviously initially we wanted to get the t628 the, the qt the one of the little curves and i spoke about how driving that i'd almost have to take extreme care driving it because you know it's a beauty it's not really it doesn't look like a truck that's, that, that, that's gonna fare particularly well off-road right and when i laid my eyes on this thing it was just it's almost like it's ready for, for, some, for some sort of Mad Max episode and the chrome all around the truck I thought was amazing I loved it still do love it the chrome bumper fitting perfectly with that however it always kind of stuck out to me as compared to the rest of the truck a little bit showy not just showy because obviously i guess the chrome in general is showy but it's showy and vulnerable right especially being at the front of the truck it's very vulnerable so i did have that in mind but i wasn't really prepared to do much about it i didn't feel like it was necessary and then before this video i was browsing the SES blog just to kind of see if there was anything new anything that i could talk about and i saw that there was a sort of community spotlight kind of thing that ses did which i really really love by the way they uploaded a ton of you guys as screenshots some uh, some videos from the community sad that mine went there but it's all good maybe one day and some uh, some positive reviews from steam which is hmm. <laughs> cherry picking reviews is the no i'm not sure how i feel about that i'm sure the dlc's got like an overwhelmingly positive review if not then i would assume mostly positive not like i've checked but purely going off an assumption but i i i'm still not sure about the whole cherry picking reviews to, to kind of share you know but anywho my point is i was checking through that and one of the creators i probably should remember their name uh one of the creators also i really do like these details that we're currently doing where it's not really a detour you know it's a minor diversion barely a detour straight back onto the highway um yeah and uh, and, and, and our journey continues on so yeah i saw someone's um someone else also had a mac pinnacle all black which did make me think oh oh that's not bad that's really not bad but i'm going to stick to our uh, our livery that we have but the other thing that stuck out to me was that they had a um a bar a bull bar i believe is the government name the proper name for it and it was just on the lower part of the bumper so it was just protecting the chrome which uh, this was a really silly error for me by the way i kind of moved all the way to the right just to move back over to the left um and it just looked perfect maybe because it kind of blended in with the whole black paint theme because the bar was also black so i'm considering getting one for before the next video if i remember if i remember if you guys watch my streams you'll know there's not much that i tend to remember when it comes to things like this 
but if I remember, I'll definitely, um, I will definitely have it done prior to our next video. But yeah, it, it, I think it's literally the missing piece of the puzzle. Literally the missing piece of the puzzle. And I'm hoping that there's an option to have it done in secondary color or primary color because then we could get it done in the same red. Would I want a bar in that color? I actually don't know. Maybe just getting it in black would be completely fine and honestly would probably make a lot more sense. But I'm not sure. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. But I, I'm still very content with the truck. I'm still very, very content. Since I've, uh, I've bought it, I haven't really had a look at any other trucks, but I haven't really felt the need to, to be honest. Like when I was just doing the quick drives and even though I knew what truck I wanted at the time, it was the, uh, the T628, of course, or 268, I always get the numbers confused. I would still always see what else is there just in case, well, just in case really, you know, uh, maybe something would have caught my eye that didn't catch my eye previously and it was never the case but still every now and again i found myself browsing through all the trucks but with this one and look i haven't driven a ton of hours right with this truck but it's kind of caught my heart a little bit i've been driving it on stream as well which i think is a uh, yeah, a teller in itself as well because when I was doing the Euro Truck streams, I had my Scania V8, which I'd had for years to be fair, like literally five or six years. But it was still my baby, still loved it. But I kind of did get a little bit tired of it, and I was using the streams to test out some other stuff. So I think I spent some time with the Renault, love that truck now in Euro Truck. I think that's probably my favorite even though i'm currently spending a lot of time with the new the new DAF trucks which usually i'm not for ultra modern vehicles whether it be trucks whether it be even buses whether it be cars they've obviously got their benefits and they've got their positives and they've got their old things which kind of makes them appealing for example electric cars and their acceleration and stuff like that but for me personally you can't be the old school stuff doesn't necessarily need to be 80s 90s although i think today that's probably classed as like a retro and old school is probably like 2000s so yeah that's a topic I'm, i really don't want to get into that's a little bit scary but yeah something that obviously i know this truck itself is quite modern but something that resembles the the styling right the sort of little bit blocky little bit you know kind of like ragged just a vehicle that appears as such as that you can take it anywhere basically like you don't have to worry about somebody breathing on it you don't have to worry about somebody looking at it the wrong way right so yeah that's that's kind of been my thing and even you know when i when i do like I was just saying, saying this yesterday. When I do like my uh, when I when I go and have a bit of fun on a set of Corsa, I don't take like the super new futuristic racing cars. I'll take something very very average, and just just give it hell on the green hell. I guess it would be would be the motto for, for what I do at the moment. Um, but yeah, do let me know if you'd be interested at all in me actually doing um, any sort of driving like car driving or racing content as i was recording my driving portion because i'm i'm doing the uh the commentary over it as i was recording the driving portion i was thinking to myself i wouldn't mind going back to city car driving but with a steering wheel cam i don't know if i've done that i actually don't remember i know i did a ton of the bus content with a steering wheel i know i did i think uh maybe not i was gonna say i think i did some sim racing content with steering wheel cam but i don't think it was a steering wheel cam i think it was just like the same camera that i use for my streams when i'm driving um i think i did steering wheel content with the crew motorfest 
I can't remember if I did the new city car driving. To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if I did. I just can't remember off the top of my head. So I did consider that. I'd love to also get back into the crew motorfest and literally just do cruises. The only reason I don't do that content anymore or that came to like an abrupt stop was literally because I only had that game through Uplay, I think it's called Ubisoft's kind of like gaming subscription thing and that came with the ultimate edition so also why i was playing it early access although if i remember correctly i think i missed a day or two of early access which kind of sucks because you know the whole point of early access is that you get to enjoy the game well earlier than everybody else and i still managed to get a decent amount of playtime out of it really enjoyed it to be honest really really enjoyed it it did seem like the kind of game that had the potential to kind of dry out the way forza horizon 5 did but before i uh, i dropped it i was still very much engaged with it still very much making content obviously there's a ton of cars the steering wheel kind of interior camera was gorgeous 900 degree rotation gorgeous we love to see it very rare to see in games nowadays you know you look at test drive which i don't even want to talk about because that just hurts my heart you look at obviously forza horizon and you don't really get that 900 degree wheel rotation anymore but hey we've got it right in front of us with american trucks in ses blessed us with it in euro truck so I'm, i can't complain too tough i can't complain too tough we still do have it and i'm not sure if you've noticed as well but there's a lot of traffic in the game right now there's a lot of traffic and i mean not an incredible amount right we're not kind of stuck in slow moving traffic for an hour but there's a lot and i'm sure you've noticed by now we've we've got branded vehicles now so i am using uh, jazzy cat's mod and you know what honestly shout out to jazzy cat that guy has been serving the i, I would I want to call it SES community, but that won't really make sense. But he's been making mods for both Euro Truck and American Truck Sim for literally as long as I can remember. Even dealing with this silly lawsuit that uh, that came around a few years back that affected, I think, his website. And he just continues to make bangers. And it's like for every version of the game, and let's be honest, game versions for the, both the truck sims don't really last that long like they actually just don't <laughs> last which kind of sucks if like me you're 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 more the type to use like map map, map mods but not just irregular map mods but i'm talking mega ultra mega combos which if you're ever interested in how to get those stupidly huge map combos where you can have pretty much the whole world at your fingertips in these trucking sims do check out my guide i don't know why it didn't take off i thought it would have actually taken off you know there's not really many videos that i'm like confident that they'll do well but that was one of the few and it just didn't really seem to take off especially because it's a how-to and if you have a look at my channel the videos that are most popping are my how to so yeah that was a little strange but yeah yeah I'm not fast <laughs> i promise i'm not fast i promise <laughs> um but yeah like to to spend literally hours downloading or get you know ordering everything finding all the links downloading everything organizing them because it does there does have to be a particular order the edit that everything goes in man it's a lot of work it's a lot of work and then to have to do that like almost every month it can get a little bit annoying especially because a few of those things are paid a few of those things are paid and to be fair honestly a lot of the developers for those map mods do deserve to get paid and i have no issue you know giving promos a dollar here or you know playing you know, like a dollar for uh for, for for rust map for example i don't have that issue but it's more the issue of having to do the whole 
load order and you make sure that you're getting it right and then when you're just running like over a hundred mods the risk of things going wrong and crashing is just like amplified times a million um so yeah it can be it can be a bit annoying the reason i didn't upload much content with 1.49 for euro truck was because even though i had the mods all in order and i kind of ensured that they were all for 1.49 I had this stupidly annoying issue where I would just bump into invisible walls and what's strange about that and honestly that's something that you could just you know come against when having all these map mods not just that but it seemed like they were growing like some sort of virus like if you watch Stranger Things right with those creatures it was just like they were multiplying it started off in a small part of the UK and then kind of just seemed to grow not really any reason for why and yeah we have just finished our initial um job so we're gonna move on now to our i'm gonna go back on topic i do have this thing where i kind of just jump from topic to topic it kind of is what it is but yeah we, we're currently now back um where we left off kind of not exactly where we left off but in the same town um picking up our load for Fayetteville, Fayetteville, Fayetteville. I don't know how you pronounce that, or how you pronounce it. But yeah, so these invisible walls just sort of grew, right? They started off in a small portion of the UK, and I, 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 like, so it was just when I say a small portion, right? I'd be on the motorway, as we call it in the UK. You'd probably call it the highway. I'd be on the motorway, bump into a wall, then I'd use this sort of zero cam to fly a little bit forward. Control F9, drop the truck, and continue driving, right? And then maybe a couple of minutes later, I might end up bumping into one. But then as soon as I got off, as I get off the motorway into a city, onto a small road, the issue would have been poofed, gone, right? No. Well, it was the case in the beginning. And then literally, as the days went by, the more I played, it then started to be a problem where I would teleport my truck forward, hit a wall, maybe seconds later. Teleport my truck a little bit further forward, hit a wall. Alright, teleport my truck a little bit further, maybe now we're talking like half a mile down the road. A couple seconds later, I'm hitting a wall. Alright, well, unfortunately, that's the UK down and out for the count. No, because I went into France now where bear in mind this issue was only in the uk and only in a small portion of the uk right it was nowhere else in europe i actually drove through these roads and they were fine as i was having those issues in the uk i now drove through france and started to crash into invisible walls and it just became ridiculous and it was really annoying because when i first discovered it like that it had become widespread i was recording content luckily it was a on stream because that would have just been a whole like mess but it was content for you guys here on youtube and it didn't <laughs> it just wasn't great it really really wasn't great and so <sighs> yeah that kind of sucked so like hours of organization and downloading and making sure i've got everything right and a few quid spent here and there just gone this way like i think overall with that combo i had maybe maybe like six seven hours playtime in total which i know sounds a lot sounds like a lot and to be fair it is a fair amount but i really wanted more and the, and, and i plan to do more like there was a lot more in the works right and um yeah for whatever reason unfortunately it didn't happen <laughs> and so it, it, it does have me thinking for the future am i going to want these mods now for this game i also had a, uh, a map combination a huge one i did include alaska and i'm and i, and I name alaska because number one it cost 20 bloody dollars number two because it's going to be i think the most different part of the entire map with it being snowy and 
it's just be, just be in a completely different environment than, for example, to what we've got now, right? Because regardless of what areas I had drivable, the kind of general greenery was going to be the same, right? It was all going to be green, green trees, green grass, some drier areas here and there, but overall, a sort of midsummer picture. Whereas Alaska, with the snow and its ice, was just a completely different environment. And it is something I'm still planning on getting at some point. But with all the version upgrades and how quickly they're coming, I do wonder if it's honestly if it's worth the work. I think if I used to, if I played the truck sims the way I used to, you know, seven to eight hours a day, then maybe. Maybe it'd be worth it. Maybe the trade-off would make sense. But I'm not convinced. I can't really be convinced with the amount of time that I do play these truck sims nowadays. And I don't know. I feel like with pro mods, it's one mod, right? Obviously, it has a lot more of a presence on the Euro truck side of things than over here. But you still get Canada, right? You still get a new environment to drive in you still get new places to explore and all the performance issues have been kind of ironed out because i haven't driven there in a while but a few years back when promos canada was fairly new i remember there was a few areas where a few areas that were a little tough a little tough and i don't know pro mods does kind of progress as time goes on i'm happy that there's constant development and although i don't follow the forum regularly to kind of see those regular up constant updates i trust in the team i trust in the team i always have i don't feel like i've ever really been let down by them and so i do hope that uh yeah performance wise there's a lot a lot there's a lot of a smoother experience to, to, to be had and talking about smoother experience I do find it annoying sometimes with these sims and it's something that applies to both Euro and American truck sim but I do find it annoying <laughs> when I don't know whether this is down to optimization whether it's down to like just I don't know uh, like a direct X a direct X thing I really don't know but there's this thing that that happens and it's happened like since i can remember since i've had like a capable system right because i've played this game on some oof, some some stinkers let me just put it that way but i've been playing this game on capable hardware for a minute and there's this thing where and if you know me you'll know i'm a stickler for 60 fps i play on a 60 fps monitor so i don't i don't know any better right right now i know we had the whole conversation earlier but i don't really know much better than 60 fps for my own you know regular gaming experiences so anywho i have this thing where you know the game will be up 30 40 probably low 50s which you know you might say oh well it's not that far from 60 it's not far from 60 at all but visually my eyes are very sensitive to it so i could tell the instance it even drops below 60 to like 58 59 57 i know it sounds very like pedantic but i can i can tell i can instantly tell and the frames all drop and i'll check my my resources using msi's afterburner where it displays everything on the top left you know your uh, well you can choose to be honest but you can have it display your cpu information um gpu information usage heat wattage memory usage all of that good stuff if you're a nerd like myself and it will show that i'm only using i think yesterday i had a look at it as i was streaming and it was 45 percent on american trucks in 45 percent gpu usage but I was only getting like 30 something frames which makes no sense because if my GPU was being used like 60, 70, even 80% I would have easily had 60 so I, I don't know <laughs> I'm really not sure what, what 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 the cause is behind it if you do please do let me know you would help me a ton I've googled it 
I've had a little look on Reddit and I just can't seem to find any sort of material that actually helps. Like there's some people that have something similar, but it never really seems to be that problem exactly, right? So it's, yeah, it's just been annoying. <laughs> it's just been annoying. And yeah, to be honest, I don't have much more to complain about the game. Like, I don't know. Obviously, I know it's an in-house engine. I know it's SES's own engine that this game is developed on. But I don't know how they do it. I honestly don't know how they do it. Like, like I said, I've run this game on some terrible hardware. There was this one laptop I used to have, which was, you know, those sort of fake, quote unquote, gaming laptops. It was one of those. Like, it had a dedicated GPU. And I remember seeing that. And I just thought, yo, a laptop with a dedicated GPU, this is basically it. This is it, like, this is what I need for gaming. I was selling my early days, very, very early days of um, computers and gaming. And like, you know, I, I, I was a little console noob before then. So I didn't really know any better, but it had a dedicated GPU. And I thought, you know what, that, that's the one I want. That's the one I want. Price tag was a bit steep, but that's the one I want. <laughs> and uh, you know, it was bought for me. And it wasn't until then, obviously, like, I got it. Try to max out all the settings because, well, I've got a dedicated GPU, right? I should be able to game no problem. Maxed out everything, and um, you know, to say I was disappointed. I, I, I think that's a bit of an understatement. I think that's a bit of an understatement. So, yeah, like it could game, but for comparison's sake, I don't know if this is a smart comparison, but if you guys have ever played RuneScape, if you've ever played RuneScape, it struggled to run RuneScape on like high to medium. Like I couldn't maintain a constant 60 at medium. And I don't think the resolution was higher than like 1080p. I'm not going to lie. I, don't, I wish I could remember the, the whole kind of um, internal components for that system. It would really help, but I can't. And all I remember is that, yeah, it wasn't great. <laughs> it really wasn't great. But you know what? I ran this game. I ran this younger or older, I should say. I ran this older brother. Fine. On medium to high settings of course it wasn't perfect and of course some sacrifices had to be made here and there and of course the heat generated was ridiculous i remember i used to just game on my bed like i just i used to lay on my bed with my back to like you know my headrest and just you know wasd drive on a truck sim i can't believe it actually worked so like there's not many games that are sims that you can WASD your way out and be fine, especially like racing sims, for example, right? But this is really like it, it just works, it just does it, it honestly just does it. And hours and hours and hours of fun were had, but the laptop cooked my legs. <laughs> And I remember when I'd put it on a desk because in my head, well, it's getting hot. I need to let it breathe. Maybe that will help with the frames. And it didn't, to be honest. But anywho, <laughs> I would put it on my desk. I, this turn caught me completely off guard, by the way. How quickly that turn came off the highway going 70 miles an hour. Anyway, um, I, I used to put forks. I don't listen. If, if you lot have struggled with, with, with a game and laptop, right? Whether it's forks that you've used, whether it's some other piece of cutlery or some household item, we did what we had to do. We did what we had to do. For me, I used forks, upside down forks, right? So that, so, so that the laptop sort of like at an angle leaning, right? So that the, the all the, the ventilation had room to breathe. And like I said, it didn't really do much. But at least I didn't cook the laptop and I wasn't, I was no longer cooking my legs. So I was grateful for that. And my point is the game ran. 
the game just ran. And then here we are in that same engine. And to be fair, I think the game's, you know, progressed in a way that that's meant it probably can't run like it used to on a system like that. I know obviously with like the graphical stuff that's, 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 that's happened over the years. And, you know, the, the map's grown. The game's it, it's developed. It's mature. It's grown, right? It's not wearing kids' shoes anymore. It's in his big boy boots. But still, still, it just seems to run. Oh, as long as your 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 hardware is modern, it will just run. And honestly, in today's age of games being, in terms of optimization, all over the place, I'm grateful for that. I appreciate that. Thank you. And if SES, if you just happen to be randomly watching this video, like over half an hour in, thank you. I highly doubt you're here. But thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful. You play like, like the boss, for example, right? That was a game I spent some time with recently. Oh, man. Optimization just stunk. It just stunk. Honestly, a lot of games, these, another, another game I play regularly is Train Sim World, right? I'm not going to say a number because by the time you're watching this, it could be five, it could be six, it could be seven, it could be eight. I don't know. So I'm not going to say a number because it's going to apply regardless. Tracing world just it just it's it's not like it runs right it runs and it runs fairly well but if we if we talk if we're talking the topic of optimization it could do a lot better it could do a lot better and unfortunately that just seems to be the standard for the games today they could do a lot better they could do a lot better and so i'm grateful I'm grateful that um, SES and their development have, have, have remained consistent. I'm very grateful for that. And I'm also grateful for you watching this video. We are coming to a close. And I think for the last part of the video, I will leave you to it. Please do let me know what you, you've thought of the video. We've... Uh, we've potentially only got one or two more episodes left. I think there's only two or more, two or three more towns to get through so we are almost there boys we are almost there boys and girls boys and girls we are almost there and um yeah thank you i know the views are incredible on these videos but thank you to the few of you who who are watching these who are enjoying them um please do leave feedback maybe there's something i could be doing a lot better <laughs> maybe there's something i'm i'm not doing at all that i should be doing please do leave your feedback it is appreciated and i appreciate you and uh, as we round off as we make our way to equos power equos power equos power i haven't got a clue i will leave you here have a lovely rest of your day take care of each other take care of yourself stay safe health is wealth and i'll catch you on the next one take care and peace out